One of the most common questions we get from people relocated to Northern Virginia is how should they decide between Fairfax County and Prince William County? It's a tough decision because both areas have a lot to offer, but they're different in some key ways. Whether you're moving for work, looking for the best schools, or simply wanna maximize your home budget, this video will help you figure out which county is the right fit for you and your family. We'll cover everything from location and home prices to commute times and schools. So by the end, you'll have a pretty clear idea of which area is best suited for your needs. And if I happen to miss something, or if you have a question, please comment down below. We would love to hear from you and keep the conversation going. Hey everyone, welcome back to Where to Live in Northern Virginia. I'm Crystal Walker with Ask a Walker. Remember to subscribe for even more in-depth videos on Northern Virginia. And if you're ready to take the next step, there's a link in the description to schedule your perfect home consultation. We'll discuss your options together and help you find the perfect home. All right, so let's dive in. Let's start with location, which is usually the first thing people consider when choosing a place to live. Fairfax County is located just west of Washington, D.C. And depending on where you are, you're anywhere from seven to 30 miles from downtown DC. This makes it an ideal choice if you need quick access to the city, or somewhat quick, I should say. It's home to some of Northern Virginia's most popular communities like Reston, Springfield, Herndon, and Alexandria. These areas are known for their balance between suburban living and urban convenience. For example, Alexandria has a charming mix of history and modern amenities. It's a popular choice for anyone who loves that small town feel with big city access. Reston is another option, especially if you're looking for a planned community with lots of amenities like shopping, dining, and parks. Herndon and Springfield offer a more classic suburban vibe, but you're still close enough to DC to enjoy a manageable commute. Now, Prince William County is just south the Fairfax and stretches from the Potomac River to the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Prince William is more spread out, giving it a mix of suburban and rural living. Some popular areas in Prince William include Woodbridge, Gainesville, and Bristow. Prince William might be more appealing if you want more open space, quieter neighborhoods, or even a more rural feel. Areas like Bristow offer large yards and wooded areas, while Gainesville is quickly developing with new communities and shopping centers. So to sum it up, Fairfax is all about its proximity to DC and the convenience of suburban and urban living. While Prince William gives you a bit more room to breathe with a quieter, more laid back atmosphere. Next, let's discuss the size and population of these two counties because that can really impact your daily experience. Fairfax County is large and densely populated with over 1.1 million people spread across 406 square miles. If Fairfax County were a city, it would be the 10th largest in the country, edging out Austin, Texas. Fairfax is highly developed with a mix of urban, suburban, and even rural areas. For example, areas like Tyson's and McLean have high rise office buildings and a bustling economy, while places like Clifton are a little bit more rural and offer larger estate homes. Because of the density, you'll find tons of shopping centers, entertainment venues, restaurants, and job opportunities all over Fairfax County. The infrastructure is well developed, making it easy to get around for most of your daily needs. Prince William County, on the other hand, is smaller in terms of population with about 487,000 residents spread across just under 350 square miles. While it's still a large county, it's less densely populated compared to Fairfax. This lower density can be appealing if you're looking for more space, more peace, and a little bit more quiet. Take Lake Ridge along the Occoquan River in eastern Prince William County. It is a peaceful, planned community that offers waterfront living at its finest. Residents can enjoy access to private beaches, marinas, swimming pools, and more. Gainesville in western Prince William County is one of the fastest growing areas with plenty of new planned communities and tons of amenities. Bristol is a peaceful semi-rural community in central Prince William County and it's known for its spacious yards and wooded surroundings. If you prefer a little bit more breathing room and don't mind being farther from DC, Prince William might be the better option for you. Now let's get to something that's on everyone's mind, home prices and income levels. Fairfax County is one of the wealthiest areas in the country with the median household income of around $148,000. This reflects the high concentration of high paying jobs, especially in fields like government, tech and professional services. Many Fairfax County residents work in DC or in nearby corporate hubs like Tyson's Corner. Prince William County, while still affluent, has a slightly lower median household income of $131,000. But don't let that fool you. The cost of living, particularly when it comes to housing, is more affordable in Prince William. In 2023, the median home price in Fairfax County was about $680,000, while in Prince William County, it was closer to $530,000. That's a $150,000 difference 
which can translate into substantial savings for home buyers. And the difference becomes even more apparent when we look at single family homes. In Fairfax, the average price of a single family home was $1,065,000, while in Prince William County, it was around $665,000. That means if you're looking to get more home for your money, Prince William is the better bet. For the price of a townhome in Fairfax, you could easily get a spacious single family home with a yard and even a two car garage in Prince William County. Another thing to consider when buying a home is property taxes. Property taxes are close to 7.5% higher in Prince William County than Fairfax County. For a $700,000 home, you'd pay around $7,875 a year in Fairfax County compared to about $8,400 in Prince William. Not a huge difference when compared to the cost of homes. So if budget and home size are top priorities, Prince William County will likely give you more value for your money. If you're in the market for new construction, you'll wanna pay close attention to this next section. Prince William County is where you're gonna find the most opportunities for new construction. There's plenty of undeveloped land and builders are actively creating new communities with a wide range of options from condos to single families. There are newly built communities throughout much of Prince William County, from Dumfries to Noakesville, we're seeing lots of new development. In contrast, Fairfax County is largely built out. You'll still find some new townhomes or condo developments, but new single family homes are rare and come at a premium. Most of the land in Fairfax County has already been developed, so builders in Fairfax are working on smaller scale projects. If you're looking for a brand new home with modern features and design, once again, Prince William is where you'll have the most options. Fairfax County new construction market is gonna be a little bit more limited and you'll likely have to pay more to get into a new home in that area. Now we have an extensive library of property tours for builders and communities throughout the region. So be sure to check out our new construction property tour videos. If you'd like to see them in person, be sure to contact us to arrange a showing. All right, let's talk about commuting and traffic, which are gonna be major considerations for anyone moving to Northern Virginia, especially if you work in DC or another major job center. Fairfax County has a more dense population that is closer to DC, so it experiences incredibly heavy traffic, especially during rush hour. Major highways like 66, 495, and Route 50 run through Fairfax, making it a critical hub for commuters traveling into DC and surrounding areas. This means congestion can build up quickly, particularly on highways and main roads leading into the city. Commuters in Fairfax County should expect significant traffic congestion, especially during peak hours. While Prince William County offers easy access to major employment hubs, with 70% of its residents working outside of Prince William County, that convenience comes at a cost, and that's gonna be heavy traffic, and long commutes. The county's major thoroughfares like I-95 and routes 121 and 234 experience significant congestion during peak hours, leading to substantial delays. The farther south you live in Prince William, the longer your commute will be. If you're commuting to DC or Northern Virginia job hubs, you should plan for commute times of an hour plus, especially during peak traffic times. Even those living in Prince William County who work close to their home in say Manassas or Woodbridge still spend an average of 30 to 45 minutes each way. And the thing about Northern Virginia is traffic isn't just a weekday concern either. It's common to see slowdowns on the weekends too. Now Fairfax County offers an advantage of being closer to DC, which means a shorter commute time, particularly if you work in the city, Tyson's Corner, or Arlington. Fairfax County also has a robust public transportation system with multiple metro stations on the orange, silver, yellow, and blue lines. These metro lines make it easy to get into DC without driving. And Fairfax also has a strong bus network with services like the Fairfax Connector and Metro Bus. Prince William, on the other hand, is farther out and doesn't have any metro stations. Instead, residents rely on the VRE and the Virginia Railway Express, or the Omnibus for commuting. These services are helpful, but they're more limited compared to the extensive public transportation system in Fairfax. In short, if a shorter commute and access to public transportation are higher on your list, then Fairfax County has the edge. But if you're okay with a longer commute for the trade-off of more affordable housing, Prince William can still work for you. For families with kids, schools are a top priority, and the difference between these two counties is noticeable. When comparing schools in Fairfax County to Prince William County, Fairfax generally has the edge in terms of reputation, resources, and academic performance. Fairfax County Public Schools is one of the top ranked districts in the country, known for its excellent academics, diverse programs, and extensive resources. Fairfax County also offers a wide range of AP and IB programs, as well as honors classes, so students have plenty of opportunities to excel. Schools like Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology are consistently ranked among the top in the nation. Fairfax County also benefits from significant funding, which 
which allows for advanced facilities, well-rounded extracurricular programs, and access to technology in its classrooms. Overall, Fairfax County tends to have higher test scores, more advanced academic programs, and a stronger reputation compared to most other districts in the region. Prince William County has made significant strides, especially in newer areas like Gainesville and Bristow, but it doesn't quite match the national recognition of Fairfax County. That said, Prince William still offers great programs like AP, IB, and specialized academies. While Prince William County schools may not have the same overall level of funding or the national recognition that Fairfax enjoys, they're still competitive in certain areas. For families focused on specific programs or schools, it's worth looking into individual schools in both counties. According to each.com, Fairfax County is ranked sixth in the state, while Prince William County comes in at 17th. 11 Fairfax County high schools are ranked among U.S. News Report's top 20 high schools in Virginia, while the highest ranked high school in Prince William is number 26, followed by number 34. So if schools are a major deciding factor, Fairfax County has the upper hand. All right, so that wraps up our comparison of Fairfax County and Prince William County. Both areas have a lot to offer, but the best choice really depends on your lifestyle, budget, and priorities. Do you wanna get closer to DC with access to top schools and a more developed infrastructure? Then Fairfax County is probably the way to go. But if you're looking for more space, more affordable homes, and a quieter lifestyle, Prince William County might be the better fit. If you still have questions or need help figuring out which area is right for you, click the link in the description to schedule your perfect home consultation. We love to chat and help you find the perfect home for your needs. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos on where to live in Northern Virginia. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.